Okay, today's vlog is going to be very short because I've just been given a new editing client. Very, very exciting. Um, so I need to crack on with that. Can't believe I've been given this uh, assignment. But I'm still dedicated to this 100 days vlog challenge. So um, I thought I'd do today is just give you a very quick tip of something I only learned very recently. And it, it combines YouTube and Facebook. But first of all, I've got to say thank you to Jay at A Day With Jay and Jade from Her With The Rose Tattoo because it's, it wasn't for those two that I wouldn't have found out about this tip that I've been looking for for ages. I think about two weeks ago I went on to YouTube looking for this one hint or tip or how-to video. I could never find it. I couldn't find any way of doing what I wanted to do until now. And it's very, very simple. I can't believe how simple it was. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log into YouTube and hopefully be able to marry up this audio with the screen recording that I do with QuickTime. And I'm hoping to get three minutes worth of footage before going back to work um, and getting this live and online for my 100 days vlog challenge. Okay, what I'm trying to do is to get the thumbnail as big as this. Right? In the past, every time I've linked my YouTube video on Facebook, it's just come up with a tiny thumbnail like uh, like this one here, but I want this one here. And I've always wanted to know how people do that, so I just click on the third, the big thumbnail, and it goes straight to your video on YouTube. And I can never work out how to do it, but I found out how. What you need to do when you upload your YouTube video, once it's uploaded and you've done all your titles and your description and your tags, there's a button in advanced settings, and it says here, where it says distribution options, where it says allow embedding, make sure it's unticked. Leave it unticked, and then you should be able to then use your video URL, paste that straight into a um, Facebook message like this. And there you go. You have your big thumbnail appearing. And obviously you'll post it, but I've already posted it, so I'm not going to do it twice. And that is how you create a large thumbnail on Facebook. Very, very simple. I can't believe how simple it was. Um, and if you decide to go into your old videos and then go into advanced settings and then just click on allow embedding, make sure it's unticked. So I think you'll probably find it's ticked in the first go in. So untick where it says allow embedding. And then what you need to do is go back into Facebook again and then where's my mark posts? These little three buttons here, you'll need to press on refresh share attachment and hopefully it should then revert to the large thumbnail. Right, that's about it for today I'm afraid. I need to get on with some work. Very, very exciting new client, so I can't disappoint them, so I can't rush that. So unfortunately, this is a bit of a rush job. I need to go back to work, but obviously check out all my links below. Check out all the guys and girls doing their 100 vlog challenge. Check out the videos, give them a like, subscribe, and then hopefully I'll see you tomorrow with a little bit more in the way of content tomorrow. Touch wood. Cheerio.